All right, I'm gonna go over the 1X chest protector and then my Pascal Pro Pack. Uh, I do own both of them right now. Um, I'm gonna go over what I like about either of them, and I'm not gonna really say anything too negative. They're both really solid chest protectors. So if you're looking for a video where someone's saying this is the worst or this is the best, you're not gonna find it here. And anytime you see a review on here, you tend not to see that. If Unless I put it, find some product that I just hate, um, I'm not gonna really use polarization as a method to get clicks. So uh, let's start it off. All right, let's start out with the one I've been using for the longest, uh, the Pasau chest protector. It's the Pro Pack. I bought this just under about three years ago. So um, as you can see, it's kind of uh, taken plenty of shots, lots of uh, marks all over it. I've gotten hit just about everywhere on it. Every once in a while, I do get this little armpit shot that may sting a little bit. But uh, besides that, this thing is an absolute tank. Um, I use it day to day. I've used it against everyone um, and I've never really felt uncomfortable in it. You probably saw that in my last uh, what's in the bag review or not review but kind of overview of what I use. I, I just don't I don't feel scared in this chest protector. Uh, that's as much as you can ask for any of your equipment and also I feel very loose and uh, mobile in it. So it's still great. Um, the only thing I really ever had to do on this thing is replace the the chest loop there, uh, Troy Otto, a uh, guy that uh, had an unfortunate uh, house accident. Um, pretty sad story, lost some pets, but he, he's here in the Minneapolis area, does a great job on goalie equipment repair. Um, he took care of me with this chest protector loop up front that needed to get replaced. He did it right in the rink because I skate with him on occasion. Um, and then the only other thing I really had to do is maybe is change, I probably should put some more loops in here, but the uh, arm lace. And those are to be expected, honestly. That's that's something you're going to see all the time. So um, the only gripe I have about this is maybe that the uh, the belly pad here, I probably could have gotten it a lot longer. That's not their fault. That's mine for not really uh, seeing into the future, seeing that I probably want to tuck in and maybe have it just a little bit longer uh, so that I, this doesn't interfere with my, my pants when I'm kind of standing up and bending over. Maybe I can, I got to tie this up a little bit tighter. And that might fix it too. So I haven't been doing that lately because I just got the 1X pants. And I've got to, uh, I was going to try and make me maybe like a monster um, shock cord type uh, strapping system to go between my chest protector and the pants. So we'll see if I end up doing that. I'll show you how to make that. Um, otherwise, I might just tie up like normal people do and use laces. So um, yeah, that's a br really brief summary on my on my Pascal chest protector. It's still solid. I still love it. Um, and it's my day-to-day. -day. So I'm going to switch over to the 1X here. All right, the 1X chest protector I used uh, this summer for about a month, kind of on and off. I used it in those pro skates that you saw, the 3v3 videos. Um, just kind of see how it would stand up within, um, within an environment that's very hard shots, very good shots. They weren't, doing, they weren't taking slap shots or anything, but, uh, you know, it, it's still hard shots, and it's harder than any beer leaguer will probably see. So... What I was using, uh, I use this kind of on and off. You can find, you can see sometimes you can see the straps dangling out of the sides of my uh, jersey, and that's obviously when I'm using this chest protector. So uh, a few good things about this chest protector right off the bat: it's super light. It's super super light. I do like that, and it breathes super well. I sweat a lot, so the fact that this thing can kind of breathe so easily uh, made me like it quite a bit. The one thing. Um, that I did not like is that it just, it really feels, uh, it almost feels like a board on your chest. Um, I think older Bauer chest protectors kind of feel like that too. Maybe I need to let it break in more, maybe not, but uh, it definitely felt kind of like it, it floats off of you. And part of the benefit of that floating off you a little bit on your chest is, is that it's going to let the air or the heat um, kind of seep out. Um, it'll, it'll let it breathe a little bit better. So the good and bad of it was that it, it would breathe better, but it would breathe better because of that gap being created in my chest that kind of stuck out. And I don't know if I like that too much. Um, I don't know. I think the materials alone could give you enough of a benefit where that doesn't need to be part of it. And maybe again, that's just because it's new. it was newer. I didn't use it more than a month. Maybe it needs more time to break in. So um, the elbows on these, when you're putting them on, they feel kind of flimsy, but honestly, I feel they're pretty, they're actually pretty strong. Um, they just feel very soft. Like if you can see that there, like that just feels odd when you're putting it on. There is a hard plastic piece in here. Um, and throughout there's this kind of 
honeycombed. You probably can't see that, but there is these holes throughout the, the foams in it. And I actually like that a lot just because it does help you breathe. It does let that sweat get out and uh, lets you cool off a little bit better. I do wish uh, more companies would do stuff like that just because some of us sweat a lot and I'm one of them. So uh, the back protection is great. Um, you can just cinch that down. Like I said, that's a cool system they have here. Just to kind of get, get the gear on and off quick. You can just pull that back. Um, I never really did anything with these. I kind of would tuck them in a little bit, but I didn't uh, strap them into anything else or tie them in the front or anything because I'm too round. Um, the arm protection is, uh, I mean, it's basically it's stolen from Warrior. They use the exoskeleton uh, design, which, uh, you know what, that's cool. If, if, if a company's doing something that other people like, you're going to see them use the same principles on, on their gear. So it's cool that they're using it, I think. Um, the curve composite stuff, it seems very strong. I don't, I wouldn't worry about shots getting taken here. Um, I took a number of hard shots off my arms and I didn't notice anything. Um, it is, a, it does feel maybe a little bit stiffer just because this, this, uh, this material here is, is a little bit stiff. Maybe this will break, this probably breaks down more over time, but it's very similar to what you see on the face of the pads, the new Vapor One pads. It's not like the 1S pads where the, the material almost seemed like it was like, uh, stitched onto it it actually feels like it's part of the foam uh whatever's behind it here so this this front facing stuff it seems very good um the vapor pads look way better than the 1s pads as far as their build goes i imagine the 2s pads will have similar uh i don't like adhesive i don't, I don't really want to know what to call it but like however they're making this now seems very much part of the padding behind it so i think with the vapor line and with the 2S line, this is speculation on the 2S line, but with, definitely with the vapor line, this, this front leather or whatever you want to material, it definitely feels part of the foam behind it, unlike the 1S stuff, which almost felt like it was just kind of floating off of it. If you looked at the, the blocker, it had that almost like trapeze or like a springboard on it, instead of having it being part of the actual shape of the, the board. That's kind of what I'm talking about. So, um, yeah, the only, the couple of things that I didn't uh, care for, I don't really like this thing. Um, I saw that that Trav 4 dude, he, he cut that out. And maybe that would fix some of my gripes with it. Maybe it would fix that this is kind of bubbling out in the front of it. Um, maybe it would fix it interfering with my breezers or my pants at times. But, I don't know, I'm, I'm probably going to sell this one. Because, uh, and I don't want to I don't want to cut that off if I'm going to sell it. Because I don't want to make that decision for someone else if they're going to buy it used for me. It'll probably hurt the price a little bit too. But uh, the reason that I'm actually sticking with the Passau... Is that after wearing this for a bit, loving the heat that it like, loving that it breathes so well, liking the protection, it's very solid. Um, it's still at the end of the day, it kind of felt bulky on me. And again, I've only used it probably six, seven skates, maybe maybe five, six, seven skates somewhere in there. Maybe it needs more break in. Maybe I should have stood in the shower, break in. Maybe I should have done a bunch of push ups in it or something. Um, it's not like it's not mobile. It is for sure mobile, but it just has that a little bit of stiffness. And part of me thinks that some of these these materials might make it stay stiff, and that's speculation. So that's me saying, you know what? I don't. I, I spent some money on this. Um, I'm not sure I want to commit to it. So maybe I'm just going to sell it because I know that I like my Pasal Pro Pack. Um, after going from this for for a while, a little while, and then moving back to this, this just felt like a nice hug. Like that's. There's, there's no other way to put it. Um, this one felt comfortable. It felt like home. Like I put it on and it felt like part of me again. Whereas this, it feels like a, a wonderful tool, but this feels part of me. And I don't know if that's, it's hard to explain. It's a personal preference thing. Cause honestly, the technology on this, the materials in this thing and the technology in this are fantastic. They really are. Um, I like just about, I like everything about it. It's one of those things I wanted to love but it just wasn't for me. And there's an intangible, intangible, well, it's not intangible. It's that I feel like this is part of me where I feel like this is a tool sitting on me. So if you're very used to it, like, a, like a, the old 195 or maybe some of the other Bauer um, chest protectors or other chest protectors that kind of sit off you a little bit, um, this thing is awesome. But honestly, I, I, I'm 35 now. So I grew up wearing gear that really hugged you uh, quite, quite closely. And I'm used to this feeling so if they could somehow be it Pissau, be it bauer be it any other company von warrior brian's if they could make some combo of of this kind of newer technology 
newer materials, not necessarily has to be that, but if they can get that breathability, lightness, and, and protection all, and still provide that, that hug, that feeling uh, like it's part of you, I would, I would buy that in a heartbeat and I'd have no problem uh, using that from every day, from day to day. So yeah, at the end of the day, um, I end up staying with Pascal. Uh, it's totally per personal preference. Um, it, this thing is great. It's just not for me. Uh, it's, it's well built, great design, cool technology, nice and light, breathes well. So you'd be perfectly happy with it if, if that's your preference. This happens to be mine. This is going to be someone else's. So if you're looking for some review saying one sucks, like I said at the start, you're not going to find it here. I like this one. I'm sticking with this one for now. Um, but this one is also awesome. It, it may not be helpful to hear that. You might want to hear someone saying something sucks and why does it suck, but uh, hopefully I explained well enough why I didn't go with this one. And it's not saying I didn't like it. I didn't go with this one and why I do go with this one. It's not like I worship Passau. Uh, I think they are a great company. Um, and I'm not endorsed by them in any way. I, I just like this chest protector. And if I found another chest protector I liked more, I would use that. So, um, yeah, hopefully this helps in some way and uh, keep stopping pucks. All right, bye.